Welcome guys, this is the 2021 Weightlifting World Championships. We finally made it to Uzbekistan last night. We don't know what time it is, we don't know where we are, but we've just arrived. This is the training hall, so we're gonna head in now. We've not checked it out yet. And this week, we're basically just gonna give you a behind the scenes look at everything that's going on. Training lifts, competition lifts, updates on results. So if you need to stay up to date with the World Championships, this is probably the place to do it. <laughs> So we just turned up. This is the this is a competition venue. It's a lot it's a lot more intimate than in Thailand two years ago. It's a lot cooler as well. Like the visuals are amazing, um, good music. But they're still building it. We'll take you around the back now, and you'll be able to see the where they're going to be warming up, basically. This makes much more sense with the back room. Yeah, way bigger. This is definitely the spot. So, uh, first session of the day, we've got uh, Taiwan's turned up, Chinese Taipei. We've also got Moldova over there. I genuinely think it's always funny when you see elite lifters and they're not the most athletic people, yeah, the way yeah. that they just move. Like, you wouldn't, other than the fact that, like, the, legs the quads are, are, just, huge. are just absurd. You wouldn't know that they were athletes yeah. necessarily. <laughs> she's athletic. Yeah. You should see um, Quo when she's here doing it. She's super athletic. Really? Unreal. That could be like a hurdler sort of. Yeah, but she was an elite soccer player before. So first session done. Uh, really great session. Uh, Robu Marin from Moldova. He turned up. First session that Nick ever filmed. So that was pretty cool. Ended up snatching 160. He's now an 81 kilo weightlifter. Was obviously 73. So that 160, if it's kind of open a territory, that's that's threatening to the rest. He uh, he front squatted up to 205. Taiwan was in in full force. Literally everybody trained. We saw Chen Pojen back squatting up to sort of 235-ish. A lot of weightlifters doing back squats, heavy front dips. And then finally, Kuo Sung Chun turned up. She'd arrived yesterday, already trained yesterday. She did 85, 115, I think. So today didn't go particularly heavy on the lift. She did do some snatch pulls up to around 130, which looked great. Uh, some light hand snatches, light hand clean and jerks, a little bit of stretching. Uh, and, and that's about it. So we've got session two coming up in a moment.
All right, so we're back for the next session of the day. Um, we've just been told by the IWF that we're gonna, as of tomorrow, have to stay in this line here to film because of COVID problems. So not exactly sure how that's gonna work out. If that's the case, that's fine, we'll just make do, but hopefully we'll be able to move in and out a little bit. So in this session, we have Algeria, BAN, probably Bangladesh, Colombia, Ecuador, Egypt, which will be interesting because they got a late entry in. They weren't going to be competing here. They paid the late fine, so now they are here. It looks like Mohamed Ihab will be competing. So we might see him now. I'm not sure if they've flown in yet. We've also got Great Britain, Spain. So we're going to see the GB girls. Again, problems with the entire Commonwealth champ squad. They weren't able to come. But we still sent our four top female lifters who are all medal contenders. So that'll be great to see. Uh, potentially Kurdistan. We've got a few different countries coming in. So we'll see what goes on. But uh, as it stands, yeah, there's going to be um, filming all along here and uh, that's about it. So that wraps up this training session. Not sure if there is another so this might be the end of the video. Competition probably starts tomorrow so as of tomorrow we'll be able to go through some of the results, watch some actual competition lifts. But this turned out to be a great session. It was the busiest session of the day by far. We had Team GB cut down from what was going to be 27 athletes down to now just four, which is a real shame. Well, actually three, because Emily Campbell turns up on Saturday. She obviously competes on the final day, so she didn't need to be here quite so early. But it's great. We got to see Freya hit uh, a PR in the power snatch at 71 kilos. Um, some 100 kilo singles with the weight of the house belt, which is always good to see. Jess hit uh, some heavy pals as well. Sarah again, just, I guess just getting rid of the dust, uh, rust, I should say. Kade Mar Valenia from Venezuela. Uh, kind of a strange session from him. I think it was just hang snatches and front squats. I saw a 140 hang snatch from him. 230 front squat doubles, I think it was. I was trying to sort of watch all areas at once, um, but I think that's what he hit, so hopefully you're seeing that now. Uh, and then Siraj, the 67, 61? 61 from Saudi Arabia, KSA. He came in, I'm pretty sure he snatched 130. It might have just been 120, I think he hit 130. Um, 140 clean and jerk, I think he went for 150, made the clean, missed the jerk, which is kind of bizarre. Uh, he actually ended up giving us some, uh, I wonder if I've still got it. He gave us a nice KSA magnet slash badge thing, uh, which is kind of cool. And then uh, we handed out a few bits and bobs as well. So in general, really great day. Only worry, I guess, is to do with COVID and, in fact, do you want to just point that out there? This is what we've got above us right now. <laughs> so, they're still decorating everything. Um, but with COVID, it might be that we're confined to filming as media. Literally, this area, about 10 meters up, and then another 10 meters, three spots. So if we're trying to film people in that area, like we're screwed. And that's one media person per area. So if, if we're here, weightlifting house, and then you've got ATG in the middle and hook grip at the top, like we all can't just be in one area. So we're gonna see how things play, but um, that's gonna cause some problems for sure. But hopefully we'll still be able to do this and, and provide you with up-to-date uh, information of the World Championships. That is day one. It's Monday the 6th of December. We'll be back tomorrow for day two.